visit aromacup.com, the world's leading single-serve coffee guide. Join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find coupons and reviews on great single-serve gourmet coffee machines, coffee capsules, and more great information, all available at aromacup.com. Hey everybody, this is Brian from aromacup.com. How are you all doing today? Welcome to my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Uh, as always, we like to show you the coolest new tools for making coffee and uh, making your own at-home coffee shop. And we're gonna continue that tradition today here on aromacup.com by showing you the Bodum Bistro Electric Coffee Grinder. Um, I've used a lot of different coffee grinders. You know, I have used professional grade coffee grinders for grinding espresso and all the different grinds of coffee which you need to make in order to be able to create the many recipes that uh, one can create with coffee drinks. And uh, this one is winning right now, I think, as one of the best grinders I've ever used. Um, so let's talk a little bit about some of the features on it. Uh, it looks really cool first off like that's the thing i love about it you know like this is one of those things if it's on your on your kitchen counter and your friends see it they're going to say "Ooh, what's that uh, so that's really cool it's got this nice kind of rubberized exterior right here uh, the name of course is emblazoned across the outside of it and uh, you've got your power button right here off and then on real easy to use um, just the same as what we've seen in a lot of coffee makers actually on the top right here, this is where we put our beans. This is our hopper. And very basic, it has this nice big lid that pops off. Big opening, this is something that, you know, a lot of coffee grinders, you get this tiny little space and you have to spoon your beans in. And I don't like that, I love this because you can just pour beans right into it and just kind of measure by eye, which is really cool. Um, and it's real easy to use and clean. We'll talk about some of the usage in a moment, but let's take off the bean hopper right here. You see how easily this comes off. We've got this red indicator here and we point that at the kind of grind we're gonna do and we'll talk about that as well. So this just twists right off. And then if we take a look inside of the unit right here, this is the conical burr grinder. So uh, if you, reach in you can pop out the the one half of the grinder right here and this part spins around it takes your beans down into the grinding mechanism the cool thing about a conical burr grinder is that it's a lot quieter than your average coffee grinder i don't know if you've all been woken up in the morning <laughs> sometimes by your significant other or someone else maybe grinding coffee but they usually do that sound and this one's a lot quieter which I think is really cool um, so it's super easy to clean because of this you can just pop that grinding mechanism out and you can just take a little brush or something like that brush out the leftover grounds and you're good to go uh, so that's something that I think is really cool about this machine um, I wanted to mention, of course, I was talking about being able to select your grind type. There's a lot of different grinds which you can choose from right here, as you can see. Uh, we start off at espresso or the most fine grind that we can do using the machine. So that's gonna be really suited for espresso machines, things like that. As we go up, we get to about middle of, of, of the grind, which is a filter. Uh, type of grind. That's very good, of course, for filter machines, some single serve machines, obviously, things like that. And as we make our way up, and again, you can choose kind of middle of the ground for each of these. And when we get up to the top right here, we've got French press. So the most coarse ground uh, coffee that we can do, which is great for French presses. And so you get all these different choices, which you also usually don't get with most machines. And that's another thing I like. Um, We've got two controls right here, as you can see. We've got this time dial, which starts off at five seconds and it goes up to 20. So this obviously just very simply sets how long you're going to grind your coffee for. Now the manual does suggest that you should not do more than one 20 second grind within a five minute period. So if you do a 20 second grind, which would be grinding pretty much about a full hopper's worth of coffee, you would want to wait because you don't want to overheat this motor. This motor does a lot of hard work. Don't overheat it. Usually when you're just grinding a little bit though, somewhere around five, 10 seconds should treat you just fine. Here's your, your on off grinding button. And when you press this once, you'll launch the grinder. If you press it again, you can stop the grinder. So the great thing about this is you only need to grind as much coffee as you would like to grind. 
Uh, and that's really important because, of course, coffee tastes the best when it's fresh ground. So you don't want to grind a whole ton, just grind as you need to. So you get access to that with, the, uh, with this electric coffee grinder from Bodum. I think that's really awesome. So then we make our way down. Here is our receptacle for receiving all of our ground coffee. It's simple, it's glass, so be careful with it. It's got a nice rubber lid right here, and you can just spoon right out of there pour this into another container, anything that you would like when you're all done. And then if we take a look on the bottom of the unit, we've got this little kind of cable hideaway right here. So this is cool because you can wrap the cable around as much as you would like and just kind of hide it a little bit. So you can see right there, I hide a little bit of the cable, pop it out through the back end here, and boom, I'm good to go. So these are pretty much all the features of this machine on the, on the right hand side again. It's just kind of nice and rubberized. It's easy to pick up if you need to, but you're probably not going to have to pick this up too often. So I told you about all the cool stuff that it does. Let's make some coffee, which is, of course, the coolest thing that it does, of course, right? Grinding coffee. So let's do that. I'm going to take my hopper, and with the little red indicator pointing over to the right here, I'm just going to kind of slide this in. There's two notches right there. Just slide this into those notches. And then you simply turn and make this red indicator match up with the kind of coffee grind that you would like. Uh, I'm going to do just about a regular filter grind today because this is what I would usually use with most uh, single serve machines. And so I want to keep it kind of middle of the, of the road with how coarse we're going to make our grind here. I'm just going to use some coffee beans right here and just dump these guys right in. I'm not going to do too much. I'll do about like that. Again, you're going to want to grind for how much coffee you think you're going to drink roughly because then you're going to get the freshest coffee that you're going to be able to make. So pop our lid back on, which seats real nicely on top of the hopper right here. Slides right on in. So now we're ready to grind. So all we need to do is choose how much time we want to grind for. I've got a little extra coffee in here, so I'll go a little above 10 seconds. And now all I need to do is just hit the button and let's start grinding. Oh, sorry. Turn it on would probably be good, right? <laughs> Always remember that, folks. Turn on your coffee grinder. It's the first question that the IT guy always asks, right? Is the computer on? Is the coffee grinder on? It is now. All right, let's go. We're going to just go ahead and press our button right here and start grinding some coffee. So you can see this is actually pretty quiet for most coffee grinders. This is actually very quiet. So there we go, the machine stopped. It only ran for as long as I told it to. I still have some beans left over. So you'll kind of get to know how long you should grind for with the kind of grind that you need to do, the kind of coffee that you want to make, things like that. I don't really need to do a whole lot more other than this because really the awesome thing about this machine, this is something that I noticed when I started to grind coffee with it, is I could smell the coffee before I even took the lid off of the receptacle where all the coffee grinds go into. And I really don't notice that with a lot of other coffee grinders, in all honesty. Um, you know, usually you kind of have to grind it and smell it, and then you can tell. This machine does a great job of really getting everything out of those coffee beans, which I think is really awesome. Um, so, you know, there you go. This is a regular filter grind right there. I could keep grinding if I wanted to. I could grind a little bit, stop it in the middle, really just depends on what it is that you want to do. Uh, now, what we did is we went ahead and we did some grinds uh, to show you the three most popular, popular grinds you're probably going to use with this machine. The reason that we did that is that any time that you're going to go to grinding a different uh, coarseness of coffee, you're going to get a little bit of your previous grind in there. So what we've done is we've just gone ahead and ground a few different ones right here. So here's an espresso grind. And you can see how, you know, this is almost like powder, which is awesome. So this is perfect for an espresso machine. When you're making espresso, it's really important that you have an incredibly thin grind of coffee. And this is almost like powder. This is perfect for espresso. And I've really never seen an at-home machine do that for espresso. Uh, here's filter, which of course you've already seen with what I ground right here. But here's some more 
kind of coarse, not incredibly, you know, looks like a lot of coffee you might buy pre-ground in a can. And here's our course for French press. Now the cool thing about this is that it's very hard to get pre-ground coffee that's already ground for a French press. You can't really buy it in a can very often. You have to make it yourself. You have to grind it, which means going to the store and all this kind of stuff and using their machine and it might still not be right. Remember, those machines at stores are used by literally hundreds of people a day. Uh, this machine, you're, you're going to be the only one using it, hopefully, right? So you get like a perfect French press grind right here. It's nice, it's coarse, it's going to work really well for when you pour that hot water in and you do your French press in your final uh, coffee press that you're going to be doing. So there you go. You can see all these different grinds that we can do. And of course, you can customize this based on all the different settings that you have on the machine. Something I really dig about this machine, as I say, I haven't seen a lot of at-home ones that have the range of this. It's relatively cheap too, only about 90 bucks, give or take. And that's pretty, that's incredibly awesome. Um, because if you buy a really, if you want to get this range of coffee grinding capabilities, you're going to spend a lot more money. So really awesome machine. I highly recommend it. I think it's really cool. We will make some coffee with this in some future videos. So check out our other videos uh, for making coffee using just this machine and, and one of our great single serve machines that we talk about. Check us out on aromacup.com, of course, for a lot more great videos and tips on uh, awesome gadgets like the Bistro uh, electronic coffee grinder from Bodum and other great single serve machines. I'm Brian, your host here in our virtual coffee shop from aromacup.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please check out our other videos. Have a great day and enjoy your cup.